Well, the relationship with the suppliers that we've built up over the years gives us enough confidence to know that we are getting some of the best uh, raw materials that are available in South Africa and also from Europe. On all of the raw materials that we receive, we, we get a certificate of analysis with uh, the load or before the load has arrived. If the, the analysis doesn't comply to our standards, that, that load won't be uh, accepted. We're proud on, uh, on our products. First of all, because I believe what I say must be in the food. If I say there's ostrich in the food and we put it on the bag, there's got to be ostrich in that food. We also test all of our product on arrival in our on-site lab to make sure that it conforms to our quality before we use it. And we are also sure that if we say it's poultry, it's poultry because it's from species-specific slaughterhouses in Europe. Um, except for our ostrich, of course, which is from South Africa, from a company called Clank Karoo, but there as well, it's a species-specific and it's a, from a slaughterhouse conforming to European standards. We use meat meals, we use uh, cereals of which there's maize and, and bran and rice um, and then we use fats and oils and there's vitamins and minerals specific for the, the product that you are making. In South Africa the quality of meat meals have, is, is not the same as in Europe. Um, we realised that in about 2006 when we decided to rather import our meat meals from uh, Europe, uh, also from the UK, uh, the only meat meal we still use which is locally produced is the ostrich and the reason why we can do that is because Klein Karua, the manufacturer, also exports to Europe. Uh, for them to be able to do that, they need to apply or comply to the European standards. The quality of the, the meat meal specifically is it's category 3 animals. The definition of a category 3 animal is that it's fit for human consumption which means that uh, at arrival at the slaughterhouse uh, there were no, no dead animals or no sick animals. What is not included in the, the protein meals would be uh, the brain, the spinal cord, uh, feathers, hooves, uh, beaks, because it's not uh, fit for human consumption and therefore not fit for pet consumption. We use uh, yellow maize one, which is uh, the grade that it is classified as, as fit for human consumption. The maize specifically comes from uh, the Northern Cape and the Orange Free State um, and it, uh, we, we buy from one supplier and we've gone so far as to put uh, a satellite lab in the Northern Cape at the, the area where we receive our maize from uh, where we will test the, the maize when it comes off the farm, uh, when, it's, when it's being harvested, uh, before it goes into storage in silos and then once again a, a few months later when they load the maize to bring to us, we test it again and anything out of our spec is then rejected. Uh, when the product gets here, that's tested once more in our own lab. We test for four different toxins. Two weeks or three weeks ago, we rejected about 120 tons of maize. We, when we found um, foreign material, uh, we found seeds in there that, that was, were not supposed to be there. Uh, the wheat brand is bought from uh, premium mills in the northern part of South Africa. Once again, the, the, the quality there is human grade. We get the, the bran that is taken off from the, from the wheat. And uh, we also test it in the same manner as we, what we do for the maize, all the toxins uh, that we test for. The rice that we use is imported from India. It's also the same uh, quality that will be used for, for humans. The vitamins and minerals are specifically formulated for each product and we receive that in blends already uh, from SA Premix, uh, a South African company. The fats and oils that we use on all of our products um, is also manufactured in South Africa by a company called Energy Oil. Uh, they supply most of the pet food market in South Africa. The, the blend that we use is specifically uh, formulated for us. Uh, it's a mixture of, of various oils and fats which includes uh, linseed oil, canola oil, sunflower oil, and then poultry uh, fat and beef fat. We always believe never ever skimp on quality. So it's easy to say we can get a cheaper product to put in it, but it won't be the same. It won't be the same quality that we've given our customers and which they've become accustomed to.